okay everyone so in this video we are going to solve this fabulous equations and this equation seems so big but it's not really hard okay so if you would like to give a try please post the video and if you are ready please keep watching all right so now i'm going to solve it for you so so the first things so we have to keep the first term still the same and what we have to do we have to do something at the second term here okay so then now let's leave this first term still the same we got x square minus 2x and then raise to q okay and then plus so now i can take x into square root here so we will get x raised to q and then factors with x minus 2 and then raise to q okay and then equal to 2 okay so we keep the first term still the same and then plus so now these two factors could be written as x square minus 2x and all raised to q okay equal to 2 okay so now i can put this square root and then we can raise it to square okay so then raise it to square like this and then plus so we keep this still the same and then i move two to the left we will get minus two equal to zero okay so now let a equal to so then we can let a equal to this factor okay so this factor is greater or equal to zero so then we can let a is greater or equal to zero okay all right so now we can take a substitute into this equation here so we will get a new equation in term of a so we got a square and then plus with a minus 2 equal to 0 so we can solve this equation here by factorizing it we will get a minus 1 and then factor a plus 2 equal to 0 so now we have two factors time together it is equal to zero so we can give each factor equal to zero and we will get a equal to one and then we get a equal to negative two okay all right so now a is greater or equal to zero so then a equal to negative two will be rejected so a equal to 1 will be accepted all right so now we can take a equal to 1 to substitute into this equation here in order to find the values of x so then we can substitute here by 1 okay so next we have to square both sides of the equation so then we will get 1 square which is equal to 1 then equal to so when we raise this to square, we can simplify square with the square root and then we will get something inside the square root here. Okay, so now we can cube root both sides of the equation. So we will get cube root of the first side. Okay. Cube root of 1 and then the second side also cube root of this okay so now we have cube root both sides of the equation so now we have cube root with the cube here so we can simplify with each other and what we will get is something inside here so then 1 equal to x square minus 2x and then we have to solve this equation to find the values of x so we will get x square minus 2x 
and then minus 1 equal to 0 okay so now we can solve this equation to find the values of x so this quadratic equations could be solved by using the quadratic formulas which is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a okay so then when we solve it we will get the answer which is 1 plus or minus square root of 2 okay so you can solve it by yourself because this question is quite easy okay so then we have found that the values of x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 2 okay so then therefore x equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 2 okay so now we have found the root of the equation and now we finish solving it so please subscribe my youtube channel for my future video and goodbye see you in the next video